Well, it's a very good morning here. Very, very windy, but currently dry. Half and sweet lamb. We will be bringing you the live coverage of the Pirelli Welsh Rally Championship uh, throughout the day here on Special Stage and over on the uh, Pirelli Welsh Championship Facebook pages as well. So make sure you tune in and uh, join us for that. Four live streams for you today. Um, big thank you to Paul Woodford who's brought to you uh, all the action, or he's still bringing you all the action from uh, stage two over the road here at my Herring. It's actually the Terenic stage, stage two. And then you join me here right at the very end of uh, SS4, the Havron Sweet Lamp stage. We've just had the zero car through. We're waiting for our first of our competitors. Uh, and we're going to kick things off, hopefully, with uh, the fantastic sight and sound of the Hillman Avenger, belonging to Neville Breach and Tony Vart. And hopefully that will be coming through the murk and the mist in the distance and heading down the hillside here through the gate into uh, the Sweet Lamb complex and uh, through the water splash, the famous water splash over the jump and then into this uh, tight series of hairpin bends here right at the very end of the stage. An area in Wales synonymous with motorsport and rallying in particular. Seen some action over the years. Fantastic place to come and watch. Rallying somewhere I've been coming to for, for many, many years now. So we're just waiting for uh, the first of our competitors, like I say, Hillman Avenger, he'll be along very shortly, just to uh, sort of bring you up to speed a little bit on the event and how it's going to run today. So we're going to start with the, uh, the 1400 historic class cars, and they're going to be running in uh, reverse seated order to start with, up to uh, car 201, which, uh, which will be uh, Nigel Jenkins and Karen Jenkins in the Foxhall Nova. So the speed will increase as the field uh, progresses over the first 30 or so cars and then uh, we will turn our attention to the top of the field and we look forward to welcoming all the competitors, not just the uh, Pirelli Welsh Championship crews but all the crews in all the other championships as well. Heading the way will be Chris Ingram, Alex Curani in their uh, Polo GTI R5 although they have dropped back a little bit on the running orders and uh, I think they're running about fourth or fifth on the road at the minute, so um, if it carries on as it had done on the previous live stream, then uh, Will Kreiter will be first ones uh, interview. But uh, we're certainly looking uh, towards our first Pirelli Welsh Championship competitor, Matt Hurst, Declan Deer, in the Fiesta R5. Twice uh, previous champions, looking to make it a third, third time round this season. Uh, they'll be certainly in the hunt for the spoils today. We also have Perry Gardner and Jack Bowen in a similar Fiesta R5. That will uh, that'll be going well. They'll be certainly pushing uh, Matt and uh, and Deck along in that uh, Fiesta, hoping to uh, give them a run for their money. But lots and lots of competitors. Um, entered into the Welsh Championship this year. Russ Thompson, Steve Link, Rob Wilson, James Giddings, Dan O'Brien, currently s sitting second in the Championship, is Dan. Nice to see him back out again. He's here this weekend in the Fiesta WRC. It's a rarity these days to say Fiesta WRC, isn't it? You don't see WRC very often. It's, uh, it's all Rally 2 or R5 these days, but uh, fantastic that Dan's bringing the WRC car back out again, and we'll hear that uh, sort of roar engine note uh, a little bit later on. I have to say before we get started, a big shout out to the uh, the sponsors of the uh, of the championship this year. Uh, we obviously have Pirelli, uh, the, the main title sponsor for the Welsh Championship again, uh, continuing its support of the uh, of the events of the season. 
and we've also got Hockley Motorsport on the pace not on the pace note code at UK. Uh, Motorsport UK uh, getting involved as well with Ashmore's, Restruct, Whittams, and also the new sponsor for this year, the, uh, the 57 Tyres Limited, uh, have come on board as well. So a big thank you to those guys uh, for their sponsorship, continued and new sponsorship to uh, the Pirelli Welsh Championship. Uh, them guys, the, uh, the season won't be anywhere near what it is. So uh, a big thank you to everyone. So the first round of the uh, the championship took the crews to uh, Rally North Wales and uh, coming out on top of that round was Matthew Hurth, like I say, Dan O'Brien second, James Giddings taking third spot, Rudy Lancaster fourth and Peter Baines fifth. So uh, just the one round at the minute completed. This is round two. You are here for the Rally Nuts Seven Valley Stages Rally. still continue to roll on the hillside. An hour ago you couldn't see anything here. It was completely uh, completely fogged over and there was nothing to see whatsoever. So the fact that we can see those marshals in the distance over there is a blessing. You'll have seen if you've been watching the other live streams on the uh, special stage page. But uh, it, was, uh, it was a tricky morning for uh, Wayne and uh, Paul in uh, Terenic this morning. More visibility here. So we've got various uh, comments coming in. Thank you very much, everybody. Adrian Passman, Bertie Redburn. Brad Cole, morning Bill, building some wardrobes, getting the brownie points up ready for the banks. You well, yeah. Good man. We've got to do these things, haven't we? To, uh, to earn the brownie points. Unfortunately, I won't be joining you on the Manx this year, so there'll be no, um, there'll be no uh, sort of unwanted comments coming from my direction anyway towards your uh, your driving abilities. You'll be able to drive around in the safe knowledge that you are flat out everywhere. Uh, thank you for tuning in this morning, Brad. Um, yeah. But, uh, it's going to be a, a cracking event over there. Big hello to Kenny Johnson. Do you have a YouTube channel that is covering the event live? We do indeed. Um, go on to Special Stage on YouTube. Have a search on there. You'll find it. We're, um, we're broadcasting on quite a few different platforms. As I see a car coming into view. It's not a Hillman Avenger, though. That looks like an MG3. Making its way down towards the Sweet Lamb Complex is your first competitor then. Let's have a little look. Tidy through the gate. Plenty of water in the splash. Over the little jump. Down to the hairpins. Goes car 224. <laughs> safely through the stage. Like I say, we're based right at the very end of the stage here, so uh, last few corners of the stage actually. Some of the most exciting bits of um, stage in the whole of the UK, you know. There's not many places you can go to where you have a flat out section to a, a water splash over a jump and then into a, a hairpin right and left. So uh, this will be uh, been well used over the years and uh, it's become famous in British folk rallying, rallying folklore, hasn't it, in Britain? You know, there's, there's places like uh, Brandywell Cottage on the Isle of Man, we talked about before, uh, Langton Water Splash, I think of, and uh, up in the Jim Clark Rally up in the Scottish Borders, and then somewhere like Sweetland as well. Places that you just instantly recognise when you see them on camera. It's, uh, yeah, it's fantastic to, uh, to be... Uh, here and watching the cars as they make their way into this bowl in front of thousands of spectators actually lots and lots of people here today which is great to see weather's not been the kindest although given the weather we've had over the last few months it's, it's probably pretty good today to be fair so, yeah. I think it could have been colder so 
probably lucky. Two together then here. This could be the Avenger and the Mini. It's uh, an escort following the Mini down the hillside. Mini's got the lights ablaze. You'll need to be careful through the water. Let's see what we have. Cautiously does it. I thought it was going to be an overtake then. There is an overtake. <laughs> Car 223, that was Barry Hughes and Stuart Morden. And 225, Paul Christmas and Duncan Christmas in that little mini. Nicely done, guys. I'm pleased to get the morning out of the way. First four stages here on the Rally Nuts. Seven Valley Stages Rally complete for two more of the crews. Yeah, many people will, uh, will have been here watching Wales Rally GB over the years. And, uh, we'll be used to uh, this place and we'll have seen lots of action over the years here. And we go Herven and coming down the hillside and uh, taking the wall splash and jump and then ending up on its roof in the ditch uh, right in front of all the spectators here uh, back in what 2006-ish something like that it was um, yes difficult uh, difficult times for me to go that year wasn't it he had, a, he had a good year but um, rolling in front of the spectators here was uh, probably another point Yazid Al Raji as well I think I remember taking the jumps behind me here. Um, just too hot back end of the car kicked up those dived into the ground and, uh, and flipped the car end over end in front of everybody as well. So, um, course it needs to be taken on this uh, on this section of stage. It's, uh, it's not to be uh, sniffed at, you know. There's a lot of people here watching. Forecasters predict you can never guarantee uh, exactly what's going to happen. Down here in the bowl, the rain is just starting to creep in a little bit again. The one thing we are looking at here is the wind's coming from behind us, so the camera's quite well protected and not too bad either at the minute. 2008 was the Herven and crash, thank you, Bertie. Banner Bert has uh, put me right on that one. Thanks, Bert. Hope you're doing well. I just remember it being like the sort of 06, 07 shaped focus. I couldn't remember what year it was. Well done. Thank you for uh, for being my resident nerd for me there. So we're just waiting on our next competitor. It's, um, we're four stages in, so things do get a little bit strung out. Um, over the morning, but, uh, hopefully we'll be uh, expecting our next crew into the bowl here at Sweet Lamb very, very soon. In fact, I can see that top corner now, so that's even better news. The clouds just moved away a little bit. I see them arriving into shot. So lots of shout outs. Lisa Leonard's watching at home. The, the boss checking up on everyone, making sure everything's going to plan. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we're all right, Lee. Always looks after me when I head up to Rally HQ, Special Stage HQ. So thank you, Lee, for everything. Ricky North was marshalling here when Herbert rolled. Is the 205. <laughs> oh no, don't stop there. 
Charles Armitage, Josh Rhodes in the Booger 205 GTI with the bump missing, that's probably just come off in the water. Marshalls are frantically dashing it across to uh, to help out. I think this next car coming through is the uh, the next 205 of Martin Beach. And Daniel Jones, car 220, let's have a little look. It certainly is. Nicely done, go on Martin. Yaro, Motor Club members, my motor club up in the Staffordshire Moorlands. Great to see Martin going well. Nice to see the little Persia out as well. This is uh, <laughs> that's one way of getting a finish and through the finish line. Well done, guys. Cars fired back up again now, so hopefully um, it's a bit of a trek back down to service from here. If I'm honest with you. Um, Let's hope that this car can get itself sorted and, uh, and get back down to Bilthwells for service. It might have been the water splash that, uh, that caused that. It didn't seem to have too many problems coming down the hillside uh, into view anyway, but... Um, uh, just can't quite hear what's going on, but hopefully... That's a shame. Charles and Josh, I think they're doing quite well actually in the uh, right first two litre class. Through my heron. There's no real urgency around the cars. So that's, uh, that's them. Ghost. Next car into view then down the hillside. First up, followed by a Mark II. Plenty of water. So it's quite deep in that splash today. A lot of water running off the hillside, which is what's filling it up. Throwing it into the hairpin. That is Freddie Camp and Stephen Spear in their uh, Mark I 1600. Next up, making their way through the splash. Two or nine. The crew of Jeremy Wells and Martin Saunders. Dancing the uh, the Wells Masonry Solutions Limited Escort around the hairpins. Next up, another raucous sounding escort coming down the hillside for us. So we're trying very hard. Good to see. Nice and tidy as they're coming into the ball through the gate. Big splash for the photographers. Nicely done over the jump. Try and clear them that screen as quick as you can so you can see this happen. Dave Peters, Andrew Richards. Almost styling that out. Almost styling that out. Well done guys, <laughs> putting on a show for the crowd, might not be the quickest, but uh, at least it gave everyone a bit of a smile there. Next up, we're catching the Escort in front, another of the ERO crews. Will Banks and Matthew Baddeley and the stunning little Nova. Nice and done Will. Plenty to go with that over. Excellent stuff. Another 
screw just to be through. Now can uh, head back to service back in Bilth Wells where they can reset and get themselves dialed in ready for this afternoon. Similar stage mileage this morning, uh, this afternoon as this morning, although a slightly different layout of stages. Sarnow will be the first at the stage of this afternoon as it was this morning. Short sort of four mile blast on their way north out of Bilth Wells. Constantine and Anthony Coates in their MG. Series that's been running now a couple of years. Good little, uh, good little cars. Uh, where Paul Woodford was uh, raising them earlier as well on the live stream as well. It's, um, the championship just quite hasn't quite taken off as well as they were sort of hoping for. But it's definitely potential there. It's a great little one-mate championship, really. And it, uh, there's a lot of potential for these cars to uh, <coughs> to get out on the stages. Relatively cost effective, let's say. We're looking down on uh, Giles Armitage still, fortunately, with a head scratching going on. Not, uh, not totally sure on uh, what's going on with the Peugeot. Bonnet's still up. Another of the MGs making its way through the splash. Something very quiet. Tidy it up, guys. You wouldn't have seen that on the camera. There is an extremely hard charging Peugeot 205 flying into view behind. Matthew Evans and Daniel Evans in that 205 chasing down Mel Cowan Sr. and Charlie Sayer Payne. Red mist descended as they came down the hillside and could see that uh, MG3 in front of them. And uh, thankfully, they managed to gather it back together just as they were approaching the, uh, the fence. If, uh, if any of you out there have played the, uh, the computer games where the Sweetland complex um, is featured uh, and in a very realistic way, you can come down this hillside. I just want to say that gate post doesn't exist in my game anymore. I've taken it out that many times uh, that I think the game developers have just decided, you know what, I'll just remove that from your game. Um, yeah, I, I, I just clean it out every single time trying to uh, trying to set a good time. So I always uh, I always fail before I get to the ball. Hopefully we don't see any of that today. This is the little Ford Puma. It's a great engine look coming down the hillside. Big splash. Air under the tyres, he goes over the jump. Paddy Homan and Sam Spencer. Doing well in the Ford Puma. One of our Welsh Championship contenders. Here's Paddy. This is the Greenles and the uh, the Nova coming into view next for us. Pushing on hard down the hillside as well. Go, 
I think that is clear to see. So far, the commitment is uh, second to none by these guys. We've really seen some uh, some strong performances from all of the crews coming through the stage so far. Let's hope that continues as the uh, as we make our way through the uh, sort of the top end of the 1400 historic class and make our way towards the uh, the main field by. European champion from 2019, Chris Ingram. It's a lot of water. Of course, shrugging it off though, no problems. Cartridge nine. System, don't we? Let's have a look. Rallies.info is where it's at if you need any information regarding uh, the results today. Be your go to. They did all the entries for them. The, uh, the results are uh, through Results D James. Sound. So the uh, Peugeot 205 with Giles Arms is firing back up as we look up to the, uh, the Toyota. For all the T27, uh, Paul Weiss. Love to see that. Guys, and uh, the Peugeot 205 and Giles Armitage. As well, which is great to see. We'll go to the MGs then, coming down the hillside. Family known for its rallying 
and, uh, and rally cross as well. Constantine drives a Corsa. We should have been filming the world rubbish collecting championships then behind us. Watching the young lady here running around after a bit of rubbish around the stage. We should have been filming that, it would have been fun that. Well done on collecting it though. Got a yeah. Dropped a sandwich back and it was blowing around the hillside. So it's quite amusing watching that then. Between cars. Anyway, back to the action. Mark one escort. Interview over the jump. <laughs> Philip Harris and Derek Davies. Well done, boys. down by car two or five, Chris Squires and Sean Hughes. Nicely done, boys. A little bit of showboating for the, uh, the spectators here in the bowl. First of the Squires cars. It certainly is. Bill and Mick will be through later on. So we're making our way through this opening field of competitors now. Should be just about four, four or five cars left to come. TI as well. Some rotten luck in that car over the last uh, last year or so, but um, it's always a pleasure to see it out on the stages. Look forward to uh, welcome it into the bowl here. It's got this far, fingers crossed. Need to use some good luck at some point. So. The cloud of the fog's just rolling back in again in the distance. We can just about make that corner out again now. So that's my gauge as whether I can uh, see the cars coming to view or not. So you see the red kite flying above the stage in the distance so it's not uh, all is not lost just yet next car interview heading down the hillside Nicely done. Well, I was about to give him 10 out of 10 for, uh, for style, but I think I'm going to give him 10 out of 10 for effort instead. So, uh, that, was, uh, that was great to see. <laughs> Putting on a show, certainly uh, probably the most water out of the splash and uh, probably the highest over the jump as well so far. And definitely the most hilarious with the hairpins. So great to see Matt Brown and Tom Jordan in the Hillman Avenger 1600. So we have to get some air time anyway, isn't it? Certainly featuring the highlights reels around the country later. Uh, 
click back to the stream and see what's happening on the stream. Try and catch up with a few. Car to the uh, Chris Squires. This is car 227. The late entries. What I need to do is uh, I need to load up the entries page and find out exactly who all these people are because at the minute I haven't got these names on my list. Tell me. Certainly won't tell me on that page. Oh, Davies. Sean Rowlands in the escort was the last car through. Yeah, 227. Okay, so I found a bit more information here. Like I say, if you want any information whatsoever around the event, uh, results for individual crews or for championships, um, full breakdown of the results can be found at results at djames.org.uk. This is the place to go. Search D James results on Google and they will uh, tell you everything you need to know. About the uh, about the event, this looks like the Alfa Romeo Alfa Sud Ti coming down the hillside. I guarantee Dale will drive us uh, sideways around the bends as well. Steve Black next up, this is an awesome sounding little Suzuki Swift. Fantastic looking car as well. <laughs> sounding sweet as a nut, Steve Black with James Aldridge. 1400 Suzuki Swift making its way out of the morning stages. We'll see Callum through shortly. Only running about uh, eight cars apart, I imagine six, seven, eight cars apart, something like that. It's, uh, Steve and Callum. in the uh, main field. An appearance very soon. There will be a short gap between uh, this first batch of cars, the 1400 historic cars, and uh, and the main field. For safety reasons, we will uh, clear all the cars out of the way, and uh, we will expect the, uh, the main field around about five, ten minutes after. We're not going to cut the stream because by the time the cars get to here, I'm hoping there won't be too much of a gap. So uh, what I don't want to do is cut the stream and then start it again after we've missed first car. So uh, we'll keep the stream going. We'll give you some information on the results and uh, let you know how things are progressing. And then you can get yourself uh, a brew and uh, we'll see you back with the, uh, the main field just after. You won't want to miss it, I can guarantee that. Yeah, uh, Mr. Grist has made his way over the road from Terenig into uh, into the Sweet Lamb Bowl now, and, and with him 
he has brought some sunshine and an extremely hard charging Nissan Micra with the front bumper missing that's not slowing them down car 202 it's the restruct sponsored Nissan Micra and Bill Balabisha and Dan Evans absolutely flying along Looked sketchy coming down that hillside from where I'm stood. <laughs> I must admit. <laughs> I kept holding my breath every time it was coming there. Uh, every time the car started to wag its tail, but um, all under control, no doubt. Fantastic to see. And we wait for. And Kaz Jenkins in the Nova. You should see it coming from a mile off. It's uh, bright green, almost uh, fluorescent green Nova. Breaking through the fog in the distance and heading down the, the hillside. Although, as I say, that the clouds have lifted again, which is nice. See if I can grab him. I can't have him talking to Mr. Woodford and not come and speak to me, can we? So we'll uh, we'll see if he uh, ventures out of his um, car very shortly for the top boys. I think uh, John Ingram's here as well come to support son Chris, as he always does around the world. Sounding sweet, the little Nova. Good through the splash and over the jump. <laughs> that is car 201. Nigel and Karen Jenkins, 1400 Nova. Top seed in the 1400s. Doing well this morning as well. So I'm assuming that's uh, that's it now for a short break, um, around about five minutes, I think. Um, so with that in mind, I'm going to nip over to the results page and I'll give you a little bit of a rundown of what's happening so far. Now you'll have to bear with me because there's three separate events running today. Um, we have the Seven Valley Stages. We also have the Seven Valley National Historic Rally and also the Seven Valley National Stages. So three stages, all um, running under separate permits, which will give us different uh, different results. So bear with me. Like I say, if you want all the information regarding the rally, if you're looking for loved ones or family, friends or whoever, uh, and you want to know how those guys are getting on, your best bet is nipping to the, G the D James website, uh, Google D James, and... Uh, and have a look for yourself there's tons of information on there and i'll be able to tell you times for stages overall times classes everything so let's have a little look to see what we've got so far for this and this Time still to come, so I'll tell you what, we'll nip back to the previous stage. So have a look. Okay, so let's go with 1400 class then, cars we've just seen. The first, uh, first car on the leaderboard is looking like Tom Constantine actually in the, uh, in the MG3. Tony Walker alongside, 1400 class car, leading the way after three stages. Just remember, we're at the end of stage four. Not all the times have come through yet, so I don't want to give you um, false information there. But um, after three stages, we've certainly seen them through this one, so we know they're, they're here and they've gone well. We will uh, we'll keep an eye on updating that shortly. But yes, um, Tom Constantine, Tony Walker leading the way in car 208 with Nice Jenkins and Kaz Jenkins uh, after three stages in second place. Steve 
black. And Dylan Fowler Bishop just dropping down a place each down to uh, third and fourth, respectively. And then Dale Glover and uh, Howard Davies. Break it down into championship things. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ooh, big sideways. Well, it wasn't a car I was expecting to see. There's um. There's actually a, a, a crest where the car's going to view uh, in the very distance. We might have a look at this later on. Um, it's the top end of the stage, or the top end of the, the section we're in. And uh, the cars get very light over this jump. It's, um, it's where the camber of the road has been uh, sort of... Or live. Yeah. We are live. Yeah. Okay. We go live for the first. Uh, We're live for everyone. For where? Everybody. Facebook, or Facebook YouTube? and YouTube. Yeah. For running us. Or yeah, for special stage. Um, for the Pirelli Welsh Championship. Um, for everybody. Yeah. For more championship prizes. Three. Yes. Three. Yeah. And you guys are over from Europe. Tell, tell us who you've come to see. So you're over here with Jos. Yeah. Um, preparation for the event, obviously it's nice to have a car and a driver like that come over to this event. He's not really done a great deal of gravel before. Tell us, is he, do you, is he expecting things this weekend? Is he looking forward to it? No, just for fun, both drivers. And we have, uh, it's the first time in a rally on, on gravel for, the, for both uh, drivers. So we come here. And big fun, and we see, we see the class mark there. We won this year two rallies in uh, Belgium. And once second and once five, is you're full in the Belgian Championship too. It was on the tarmac, not on gravel. Yeah, yeah. But we have a second, you also had a second car that's not built to gravel. Right, okay. Fantastic stuff. So we might see him back over here again then on, on, on some yeah. more gravel. That would be great. And um, and what I take it you guys must have seen Sweetland before. You, have you been over here before to Sweetland? No, no. We were you, you've seen it on the we television had a before. Here. Okay, but you've seen television and stuff and footage from the World Championships in the past. The rally, yeah. So it's a famous <laughs> place. So it, it must be nice to be here now and see it like live in yeah, front yeah, of you. Yeah, yeah, you know it's from the RAC rally here. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Great stuff. Well, the top boys are going to be amazing. When they come into view over that crest up there, the okay. cars will be airborne. Yeah, okay. And it's going to be a, a real sight to see. So um, we'll have to make sure Caravan Sam is focusing up there when, uh, when hopefully, Chris we will or Chris. We, I think Will's first on the road actually today. Um, they've swapped around a little bit, so I think Will will be first. Why, why they do that? Uh, I think it's Chris just wanted to, yeah, just wanted to see what the conditions were like and find out a little bit more about the, uh, about the event. But um, great chatting to you, thank you guys, and uh, it's great to see you over here. Welcome to um, sunny Wales. Yeah, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, what? Yeah, yesterday was very nice, I believe. We should have had the rally yesterday. That's what it should have been. But yes, welcome. Thank you guys for coming over, and thank you for chatting to us as well. And the, uh, the team helping run. The uh, Josh Verstappen Red Bull Skoda. Come and have a little chat with us. Look with anticipation at uh, who else is around. And if I was here, yeah, I can see Nicky down at the bottom. He's not making his way up the hillside. He's uh, he's had enough talking with Mr. Woodford, so uh, we'll leave him be. Not a problem, thank you guys. Making 
some photographic uh, memories here as well. Brilliant stuff. Well, the clouds have lifted uh, even more now, which is really good to see. The sun's not out, but it's not really warming up anywhere. But uh, at least we can now see this fantastic uh, countryside around us here in, uh, in Mid Wales. I'm trying to do my best with the wind whipping across. It's difficult to hear uh, what's coming in the distance, but um, we'll do our best to listen in. Sure, I can hear the echo of uh, Rally 2 cars in the very distance. So we'll see who makes their way into view first. We're expecting probably Will Crichton to be first on the road. I know that uh, Chris Ingram was car one, but uh, had dropped down on the previous live stream, and we were expecting. Uh, Will first through here as well. I think Chris was looking around about uh, fourth or fifth on the road, if I remember rightly, from what I'd seen. But, uh, a bumper entry, everyone looking at with real anticipation. It's, uh, it's great to see all the crowds out. Lots of people here in the bowl today. Rallying seems to have taken a bit of a <laughs> resurgence this last last year or so. It's difficult when the uh, economic climate has been up and down and uh, difficult to judge but it uh, seems to be flourishing at the minute which is great to see. So if you missed it earlier we're, um, we're right at the very end of the, uh, the sweet lamb stage here. Haveron Sweet Lamp, stage number four. We're about to welcome the main field into the bowl here, right at the very end of the stage. We're, um, we're about 12 miles in, I think. I can hear a car coming. It won't give us much uh, much chance to see what's going on anyway. It'll be uh, appearing into view rapidly over that crest. It's just teasing us, there's aircraft in the sky as well, it's just teasing us. Blink and you'll miss it guys, but that crest in the distance uh, is what you want to be focusing on. It's like a double junction, it's run many, many times over the years, um, with the cars coming into view and then turning hairpin left up the hill where the car and the van are parked, out of view, and then they come back down where the spectators are and turn hairpin left. <coughs> and make their way towards us. This time it's running straight through and you can see there's quite a quite a crest on that uh, on that junction actually where the, uh, where the camber is sort of. Here we go, I can hear the car come in. There we go. It is the Fiesta. It looks airborne to me. Big sideways down the hillside. Ocean Price through the gate. Huge splash, huge leap on the brakes, hard, hard, hard brake. Click the bar in the back end, rotate it round. Try and see where you're going through the, the condensation and over the finish line here in the bowl. Fantastic stuff. Oshin really wanting this uh, this event win here today. That was impressive, wasn't it? I was watching my phone, I missed it coming into view, and then I missed it on the phone. I'm, I don't know what I'm watching, I'm, there's too much going on. Brilliant to see. Awesome stuff, lots of smiles around the crowd here. Let's see. Next interview. Over the jump, interview. Let's see what the commitment levels are like. Not quite a sideways through the little right hander. Switching away, neat through the uh, the gate. A little bit more relaxed, maybe a little bit more reserved this time round. Brighton, Liam Regan. Incredible.
normal stuff. behind but yeah uh, see if I can wave him all let's have a little chat with John if we can so you uh, watch our third car interview down the hillside yeah. next up then Gary Pearson over the jump Yes, right, who's scrabbling for grip. Those tyres have worked seriously hard all morning. Yeah. Time for a refresh when they get back to service. Great to see. Gary going well. Getting to grips with that Fiesta now. Here's Chris then. Notably quicker catching Gary in that stage then, taking time out of Gary for, for sure. Serious commitment down the hill, tidying it all up, this Polo rally, to, or R5 Polo I should say. Nicely done. one winners up on the northwest stages just a few weeks ago in that polo looking forward to taking delivery of their new Toyota Yaris GR Rally 2 in the uh, in the coming weeks John's going to come and join us very quickly Mr Ingram welcome thank you for coming over I, I won't keep you I promise we've just seen some uh, some excellent oh okay excellent tell us what we got uh, got Chris was 7th in the ocean, uh, and I think um, Curling, um, Curling was 4th, 3rd fastest. Okay. So Chris took the same one, I don't know what you did on the last stage, do you? I don't know what you did on the last stage, no, I didn't see stage 3 times at all. But, uh, some serious commitment, it's a great place to watch, so isn't it, here, when you can see the water. It's <laughs> early, it's rather so clement. Keith and Mikey, car number four, Keith Cronin. Lost a fair bit of time through this stage to Chris Ingram, looking like he's taken the stage win. Hopefully, uh, hopefully these guys will get back to service and will be able to sort themselves out ready for this afternoon's runs. Thank you for that insight, John. Great to see you out on the stages. Always here supporting his son Chris on the uh, on the events. Next interview down the Welsh hillside. Pain by the looks of things. Big splash. Nice air over the jump. First of the crews not to take a recce this weekend. Most of these BRC top boys. Coming and having a recce around the stages yesterday gives them a good insight into everything. And, uh, and Elliot choosing not to do that and scoring points for the BTRDA at the same time, as well as uh, the Welsh Championship. Now, first of our Welsh crews coming through, Welsh Championship contender and two times previous winner, Matthew Hurst. 
with Declan Deer alongside. Fantastic jump. Do some good luck, these boys. Well done, get it across the line. Well done, great to see. Good time. Great time from, uh, from Matthew and Deck through Sweet Lamb. We impressed Mr. Ingram. Great to see. Brilliant Welsh championship. The current champions. The last two seasons. This is the sight and sound of the brand new Toyota Yaris GR Rally 2. Entering the bowl. Have a listen to this for an engine note. Great to see the car out on gravel for the first time. Stunning looking car. Iconic livery. With Castrol back supporting the Melvin Evans team, see with him and Chris. <coughs> a little three-cylinder engine in that uh, in that car, but what a car and what an engine has got! So much torque in it. But, uh, okay, so the Hyundai is James Williams. Wanting a good result this weekend. <laughs> Lost the front corner. A strong performance through the bowl section for him and Ross Whittock. has started again. We've done all right for the first sort of hour or something. The rain is coming in now. See on the camera, the uh, visibility has just changed to the wind and rain blowing in across the hills right now, dampening everyone's spirits slightly. Maybe race again. But our next crew enter the arena though. We're expecting Callum Black. We have uh, Callum, Ollie, Mellers, and then uh, Vivian Hamill, but we're not going to see Vivian Hamill after uh, Vivian rolled the car on stage one, first corner of stage one, put the car on its roof, unfortunately. No damage other than to pride and a little bit of cosmetics, but um, yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Sorry, sight. So, no Callum Black. This is the uh, Proton Iris. Very spectacular paint job down the side of this car as well. Into the bowl. Making their way out of the morning stages and on their way back to Bill Wells for a well-earned service break for the car and crew.
next up. It's a polo, but it's not the polo we're expecting. Roof. So this is car 13, Reese Yates with Craig Drew alongside. Making a return to the sport after a few years away. So next up then should be our foreign crew of uh, Jos Verstappen, father of uh, Formula One ace Max. First time out really on gravel for Jos. The arena through all splashing over the jump. Nicely done. Fantastic red bull livery. Scooter Fabio through the finish line. Jamal Reno. On the notes for Jos this weekend. Good to see them trying their hand. It's uh, the Welsh gravel. <coughs> Talking to the uh, the guys that were in the car and. Uh, they were saying he has a second car now, which is setting gravel specs, and you never know, we may see more of him. Sideways through the splash. Trees sponsored Polo GTI R5. Now Rory Young and Alan Callas just running a little bit wide on the uh, on the hairpin to gather it back. <laughs> Scott BT and Perry de Davies should be next up in the Fiesta. Certainly Fiesta coming down the hillside, so let's have a little look. Confirm that. to see. Now next up should be uh, Harry Gardner and Jack Bowen. Probably the greatest threat to uh, to Matt Hurst's title chances this uh, this season. <coughs> Showed some serious uh, pace over the last few Few events. In fact, the last few years, really, to be fair, it's really uh, come a long way in terms of the four-wheel drives, definitely. This could be. It is Roger. Roger Hollenoy and Robin Busmans. Thank you, guys. 
all the best. Take care, we'll see you soon. The boys making their way back to service to look after, uh, after their Skodas. Russ Thompson, Steve Link, putting on a show for us in the Evo. Still fantastic to see those cars out. It's uh, old machinery really now, isn't it, when you think about it, but uh, still fantastic to see the car out running. There's a, a whole gaggle of uh, Evos running back to back now, so we should see two more as well coming uh, into view very shortly. And uh, all three of them are, uh, are in contention. They're all really driven really well. Next up should be uh, Daniel Sigurdsson then. And uh, that's to see Dotti first. It's a Fiesta. A few, a few gaps opening up and a few positions and cars missing. So keep an eye on things. That's over the jump. them out on the, on the planes rallies in the past at the Woodyard up in Welsh Pool. Uh, plenty of Welsh miles under their belt for Daniel Sigurdsson and Aster Sigurdotti. So this should be Rob Wilson next up and Martin Haggett alongside. people getting in touch on uh, on Facebook thank you very much I can't quite keep up with everybody at the minute whilst I'm trying to go to the, uh, the entry the results as well so um, keep the comments coming in and, and the hellos coming in I do see them every now and again so thank you very much uh, to everybody uh, Florence Butler Ben Lawrence Tam thank you Tam welcome along uh, as is John thank you very much Tony Wilkinson's watching as well lots of people out there watching today we very sideways straight through those gates, that's the main thing. Oh, heavy landing. <laughs> well, if you're going to put on a show. It's the way to do it. Rob Wilson and Martin Haggart. Martin's got the door open straight away. I don't know if he's going to be sick or he just wants to, keen to get the, uh, the the time card over to the officials. But uh, yeah, what a ride that was into the bowl here at Sweet Lamb. Heavy landing on that uh, near side front corner, but uh, nothing to worry about. Steve Perez is watching. He'll be eagerly, eagerly awaiting the uh, arrival of Seb. Won't be too long now, Steve. Thank you for joining us. Mel Prince, hello. Thanks for watching. Watching from Invercargill in New Zealand and from many a road rally, many a rally in Sweetland. Best gravel roads in Wales, if not in GB. Third of the Evos then. James Giddings, Alan Davies. as Larry, but just as sideways, great to see. I think we're at risk of having a little bit of sunshine breaking through as well at this rate. It's, uh, it's clearing up, the, the, uh, the rain is just starting to ease again. And, uh, next interview in the distance should be the Fiesta WRC of Dan O'Brien. 
which will be uh, should be fantastic. We'll have a listen to this. Big splash from Dan. Nicely done. It's not the WRC. It's, it's not Dan. Liam Clark, Emily Easton Page. Just, just rearranging the barriers on the outside there. Some serious, serious commitment there from Liam coming down the hillside. That's a fantastic, uh, fantastic bit of driving there. Just overcooking this last hairpin. Just didn't quite get the car rotated round enough, but uh, brilliant stuff to see. Just oversteering wide there. John Pettit has commented saying Evos usually bore me senseless, but Car 22 has just changed that opinion. <laughs> fantastic. Thanks, John. I still have a soft spot for things like that as well, you know. It's it's great to see these um, fiestas and all the uh, the popping and banging of the uh, the rally two cars. But I do I do still enjoy seeing the Mitsubishi's and the Subarus and things like that. You don't tend to see them as much as you used to. You know, we go back 10, 15 years and they were everywhere, weren't they? And it was probably a little bit more boring. But uh, now it's great to see a variety. Variety is the spice of life, as they say. So great to see these different cars out and about. And, and uh, speaking of Subarus. Not on my entry list. <laughs> Later entry for us, just to confuse me again. Now this isn't looking good. We have smoke coming from the offside front wheel. Wow. And not just condensation. I think that's a puncture, if I'm honest. Car 29. <laughs> to get through that stage. Good call, Hansen and Isaac and Johnson. Yeah, they will be. Uh, they'll be glad to be through. Sweet lamb and uh, and able to get that punch of change now. Mark Kelly is watching. Welcome along, Mark. Thank you for joining us. Just in time to see your rival, Mr. Roskell, making his way into the Sweet Lamb Bowl. But, uh, he won't be used to seeing this on, uh, on those closed road events. Through the water. Over the jump. Car 31, Neil Roscoe. Di Roberts with the flames coming out of the back of the exhaust <laughs> on the overrun there. That was great to see. You didn't see that on the camera then, but that was, uh, it was nice to see that. Reminiscent of the Group B days with the uh, flames coming out of the exhaust. Marty Booth is watching from the Isle of Man, waiting to see Mark Higgins in the TR7. We certainly are as well. We're all here to see that. Um, that's going to be fantastic. Lots of variety in the historics. They're not far off. Uh, coming through as well. Yeah, we should be expecting Kyle White next and Sean Topping in the uh, in the gold liveried I20 R5. We'll keep an eye out for that blasting interview very shortly. And then George Lapley window isn't here this weekend in that uh, Galant VR4. So after that, we should see the first of the historic cars of Nick Elliott in the Fiat 131R bar. Okay, we'll be back up again. Just to get this uh, chill blows through. Looks like 
shaped. Kyle White is certainly chasing him down hard. So, is this... John Rintoul then in the first car, Kyle White. <laughs> Seal Kyle back out again. Issues on the northwest stages where he uh, damaged the car quite heavily and uh, blocked the road. So, real baptism of fire for him in that uh, Hyundai R5. Step up from the, uh, the car he was driving last year, Peugeot 208. So, making the move into uh, Rally 2 machinery now and uh, fighting for top honours in the BRC. I don't think he'll mind me saying he's not, uh, not the quickest on the gravel. He's always the tarmac coming from Ireland. But, uh, he'll be certainly learning the car by every mile. Quicker and quicker as the day goes on as well. Sideways to the splash and over the jump then. Car 35, Joe Price, Chris Brooks. And the escort RS. Always fantastic to see Joe out. Knows how to handle the escorts. Great competitor. So no 1-3-1-R one, one bath at the minute. Let's uh, let's see and hope it just uh, drops out of the running order. Next up is Seb Perez. Hear that fantastic Porsche making its way down the hillside. Well, it's not quite the Stratos that we saw Seb in on the RAC last year, but still. Nicely over the jump. There you go. Balancing the rear wheel drive Porsche 911 on the accelerator through the hairpins. Thank you, Steve. Seb is leading by the sound of things, and he thinks Nick Elliott is out. OK, unconfirmed, obviously, but um, that's a shame if that's the case. Thank you for the info, Steve. Be uh, pleased to see Seb has made it out of the morning stages and he's making his way back to Bilth Wells. Thank you, Gavin. John Bannister. I did, I assumed as much as that, you know, but I didn't want to say because it didn't have. Uh, I'm almost on the wrong side of the car for John's name. I could only see Clark on the side, but there's nothing else. So I thought I will, um, without just making the mistake and saying, I think that's John Bannister. It was John, yeah. I thought it was. Familiar colour scheme to John. So, uh, yeah, I should have guessed. Should have taken a punt on that one. Appreciate that, Gavin. Thank you very much for uh, confirming that for me. towards our next competitor and our next competitor on my entry list is Mark Higgins <laughs> an interview bouncing interview comes the TR7 fantastic engine notes one man who knows his way around this stage through the water oh very sideways Ooh. Get it back under control, Mark. <laughs> Don't do anything daft. Brilliant. 
great stuff. I can, I can, I can see the <laughs> a shake of the head, and uh, I can see the relief pouring out of that car as the window comes down. Yeah, that was uh, that was a moment. We'll uh, have to uh, fix the uh, rear arch back onto that car and probably change the underpants as well at the same time. I imagine after that. But, uh, unusual line through the. Uh, through the wall splash there, <laughs> not one that was uh, meant either. So, brilliant stuff from Mark Higgins with Phil Pugh. Pugh's head. I think you'd seen uh, his life flash before his eyes there with that one. <laughs> Car 39 then, Adrian Hetherington and Ronan O'Neill. No sign of the sheriff then at the minute either. We'll um, try out and see whether uh, Matthew Robinson and some Sam Collis make it this far to us. I hope they do. Daniel Menel was next up in the escort, and this looks like the orange escort. Sponsored car Daniel Manel and Richard Wise for Ford Escort Mark II. Patrick Naylor and Ian Lawrence in their Mitsubishi, another of the Evos that goes well. season for Patrick and Ian. I saw that Mark Higgins was sporting the, uh, the Bondi Tash earlier as well. But, uh, last night actually at the ceremonial start. So let's see who we have coming next. We're looking for uh, some more of our brilliant Welsh Championship contenders. in the Fleet Smart, sponsored Rally 3 Fiesta. Get into grips with that more and more each time they're out in the car. Doing really well, the car looks fantastic. Next up, 
another of the escorts. Car 43. And this is Robert Goff and Jez Rogers. Big improvements on the pace over the last year or so. He's, uh, he's going to be challenging for uh, overall positions in that uh, in that escort. It's nice and clear now. We can see all the way to the side of the, the forest in both directions. Actually, it's only when you see it as clear as it is now that you really appreciate. This, uh, this place is an incredible place with all the roads and the uh, the tracks that could disappear off into, uh, into the distance. Incredible place to come out I've been here for a good good while, so it's nice to be back. Next bouncing interview then. This could be the Flying Kiwi. Boyd Kershaw, Keegan Reese in the two litre Mark II. <laughs> Nicely done, boys. Certainly is the Flying Kiwi, car 44. Finishes another one flies into view. It should be James Lepley and Simon Jones in a similar car. Unfortunately, George couldn't make it. James is here holding family honours. To perfection now. Young Sam on the camera. Ooh, another sideways through the water splash. This is Rudy Lancaster. And Guy Weaver in the Walk of Faith sponsored escort. The second of the well done, Guy Weaver sitting in with Rudy Lancaster, long-term co-driver and navigator to the late great David Stokes, who uh, I remember taking me around this complex in his Mark One Escort many years ago. Sat alongside David for a, a test day. Uh, one of the most incredible experiences of my life. I have mentioned that on the live stream before, but yeah, what a pilot and what an absolute pleasure that was to uh, to have a run out like that around uh, around the Sweetland complex. Absolutely frightened me to death. He did. It's uh, something I will never ever forget. I'm sure I mentioned as we see the next competitor coming down the hillside that uh, today marks the anniversary of the death of Craig Green losing uh, a rallying superstar this year it's, uh, it's in his memory that we, uh, we go competing and enjoying ourselves like we do today so something we sadly miss Across the sport. I'm sure everyone will uh, stand by me when I say that. David Tomlin and Ian Beeman in their Fiesta R5 making their way out of the stage. This looks like car 49 of Peter Bayliss and Paul Goddard. Evo 9. Making their way 
through, cross challenge it. He's uh, competing in the uh, Premier World Championship B13 class. Heavily contested class, that. Always worked good time. Next up, we should see Simon Rogers and Aid Williams in the Evo 6, slightly older version of the Evos. Second overall last year in the Pirelli Wells Championship. And uh, we'll be wanting to hold off his challenges this year again. He'll have, a, have his job. He'll have a real job on his hands to, uh, to compete with the likes of Matthew Hurst, Harry Gardner at the top, uh, the top of the table. Of the older Evo will shine through, I'm sure. Wait to see if he uh, appears in the distance. So maybe there isn't Simon Rogers on his way to us at the minute. We'll look for John Kane then. Next up, an even older Evo 3. The hold up at the minute, but we will um, we'll keep an eye on the uh, on the road in the distance and see what's coming our way. In the meantime, I'm going to try and bring you up to date with some of the results. Although, like I said earlier, it's not the easiest of things to do. We have uh, a variety of uh, <coughs> results pages, so let's have a little look and see what I can tell you. So from an overall point of view, it's saying option price leads by 11 seconds over Chris Ingram. So it's just, um, whilst you watch uh, John make his way down the hillside, now I've got to be very careful what I do with when John's around. I'm not, in fact, I'm not going to speak because last time I jinxed it, so I'm not going to say anything. Let, let just, let's just. John do his thing while I have a look at my phone for results. Roland's uh, make his way through the stage as well. I mean, how good is that to see? Um, fantastic sounding car, fantastically driven car. Um, always exciting when uh, when Ewan Roberts, I said Roland's well, name, Ewan Roberts Jr. is behind the wheel. Um, Daniel Jones alongside. Now, the reason I was very quiet when uh, when John came through is because the last time out he'd repaired the car after um, crashing heavily. 12 months earlier, he repaired the car and brought the car out and crashed right in front of me after I'd said that his mechanics had done a fantastic job of repairing it all and getting it all ready for him, and yeah, he crashed in front of me. So uh, I wanted to just make sure that he got through uh, this stage unscathed. He did, which is great. Next up, Tom Llewellyn and Will Atkins in the Ford Escort Mark II. 
Ramsey, the familiar face of Will Atkins, sat alongside. He will be making the long journey north, as will we, after this event up to Anglesey for the final round of the uh, Circuit Championship. You can join me live there on special stage tomorrow from uh, De Cruyss up on uh, the Isle of Anglesey, where we will be live throughout the day with coverage of that final round. Will sitting in with uh, already crowned champion Michael Igo this year in the uh, Citroen C3 Rally 2. So uh, he's had a, an adventurous weekend so far, hasn't he? And, uh, more to come, I'm sure. Just, uh, just taking slightly too tight a line around the uh, the first of hairpins there. Nice to uh, gather it back up there. It's a bit of a drop on the inside actually. But did well to uh, to get away with that. Shout out to Scott Clark for watching. Thank you for joining us, Scott. Been on holiday this last uh, last week or so down in the sunny south. stages. off for the spectators. But yeah, Matthew Hurst leading the way with Russ Thompson in second and Rob Wilson third, Daniel Sigorson in fourth, and Gunnar Carl Johansson in fifth even with the puncher. He must have, uh, must have gained that puncher towards the end of the uh, end of the run. Yeah, didn't lose that much time actually, thankfully. But uh, he got it, so that's good. Stevenson Wheeler and John Pickervance up next for us.
There we go. Daniel Moss and Sammy Allen in that Evo 10. The, the notes I've got here say uh, a striking paint job as usual. Not so much pink this time. Unusual colour for a farmer. There you go. We're going well anyway in the Evo 10. is watching from my herring. Nice to hear that the fog's lifting over there as well now, Ben. It's good to hear. Be able to see the windmills now. Hopefully see the cars this afternoon as well. Thompson and Josh Davison towards the end of the stage just step. Just missing the apex really of the uh, of the hairpin right and team. Very slightly wide afterwards. It's, uh, it's a nice teasing corner to finish the stage, isn't it? You can really uh, put your foot down and slide that car out it's wide and dance it through the finish line. So I'm waiting to see how long it takes before those uh, stakes in the finish line disappear. I've noticed there's no finish line board on them anymore. Side of that band now. Still plenty of crews to come, so stick with us. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll be, uh, looking forward to uh, the arrival of Andy Davison and Tom Murphy in the Sunbeam VXR shortly. Uh, not too far off. Not two stalwarts of the uh, Pirelli Welsh Championship making their way, their way through the stage towards us as we speak, I hope. Colin Griffiths and Wood Cutting. Bouncing away into view. Down the hillside, the first of the Subarus. Sixty-one, Colin Griffiths and Mark Morgan. Subaru with the yellow stripes next up. Oh, Wog Utting and Bob Stoker. Though, and Ian Taylor in their Ford RS2 Cowsley. And Walkie's actually following them down the hillside. So we'll keep an eye on the escort first, and then we'll watch Wog make a splash. Splash. 
R62, Walk Utting and Bob Stoko. So if everyone was like Walk, the world would be a better place. Been rallying as long as I've been coming out filming him and, uh, and photographing him as Walk. See the Subaru still going strong. Now, famous boxing livery. So here's the Sunbeam VXR then of Andy Davison and Tom Murphy. <coughs> Always love putting on a show. And we'll see the second of the Uttings as well, Max is out this weekend in, uh, in the ST. Sponsored Mitsubishi Evo 10, that can only be Ernie Graham and Robin Callard. <laughs> Next up, it's going to be fantastic. Here's Chris Richmond Hand. Ryan Sheep Jones. Second rally, awesome result. Awesome seeding, he's had the billing. Can they live up to it again here? Running in the road rally class. Escort through the stages, certainly. Great to see. So, this is the first of the Peugeot 208 by the sounds of it. Roaring interview. Dara Mullen, we are expecting first. This is not Star 68. Robert Prowerlock and uh, Stephen Brown. Of Peugeot's coming through now, junior BRC crews.
Joe Lloyd and Sean Williams in the rally four, 208. Second of the Peugeots through. It's around about uh, eight of these Peugeots that are due to be coming through. and Ayrton Sherlock then in their uh, Motorsport Island backed car. <coughs> so it looks like we're missing Carl McBride. Carl was a fierce competitor last year in the, uh, the junior BRC. We assume if he's not here, we'll keep, uh, keep an eye out for him. It's not necessarily uh, over yet. He might be running slightly out of order. Some good commitment down the hillside then. Our next competitor. It's about a sensible approach to the water splash. And this is. This is Kyle. Dora Mullen alongside. Navigating their way through the slippery Welsh stages. Sound fantastic doing these little uh, little Peugeots. Peugeot 208, Rally 4 machinery. Kean Coldwell and Liam Egan in the, uh, the Rally 4 208. We know Liam's family are here in the bowl this weekend. We've met them earlier on. Looking forward to him coming through. So they can uh, go get themselves a bacon butty now, safe in the knowledge that he's here. Coleman and Walk and Moore. Another crew that we saw out last year competing on the Junior BRC. They're uh, back for more this year with the, uh, the 208 Rally 4. 
Matthew Hurst is tuned in now. You must be back in service then, Matthew, if you've tuned in. Well done so far. Going well for you. Leading the way in the National Rally. Nice to see you and Deck having some good run. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys back here in uh, Haven Sweetland this afternoon as well. So, uh, yeah, keep up the good work, guys. Go and get a butty and warm up a little bit. You're, you're all right. You're inside the car, aren't you? I think we should swap one day. You come and stand out here and freeze and we'll go in the car instead. I guarantee there won't be very much action going on from the car point of view. <laughs> the live stream will be good though. Keep it up boys. Steve Davis says great coverage of Sweetland, thanks guys. Thank you very much Steve, appreciate your comments. It's lovely to hear. Joe is barking their way towards us. We're looking for Callum Graffin and Richard Morton Crows here. Uh, next up, I hope. Kelly and Killian McArdle. So, uh, we can't miss in there. But, uh, this looks like the ST of Max Utting. Hazard lights flashing. Robbie Durant alongside. Issues for the ST crew in car 66. Uh. They have. Of the Peugeot's hunting them down, but won't catch them in time for finish. And that is Michael Fitzgibbon and Carrie Ryan making their way out of the Havron Sweet Lamb test. Turn our attentions then back to the Pirelli Welsh Championship with Rob Dennis and Andy Boswell in their Mark II escort. And that's not them. It's the Mark I of Jonathan Brace and Paul Spooner. Um, winners of the 2023 David Stokes uh, Trophy, David Stokes Award. Part of their, uh, uh, their commitment in last year's championship. Very well done, boys. Mm -hmm. Next should be another of the escorts. Gary Smith and Clive Jones on board. Take a very quick look at some of the results that we've got here.
leading the way from Joe Price, marking him in third, in the 12 point of the second back. So that's the moment for the ball here. Richard Hill is in fourth, and then we're in fifth. Welsh Championship point of view, Robert Goff is inside the top ten. It's great to see. That's about all we have from the historic gang after uh, stage four. Quick flip through to the, uh, the National Rally. See two cars coming down the hillside here. So national rally, it's looking like Austin Price leading the way. And Chris Ingram, 11.7 seconds off the pace. So something, uh, something's happened to Chris there. Chris has been setting some top times throughout the day. So but, uh, not quite sure what's happened there. I know we're off to the city. Charging Rob Dennis and Andy Boswell just behind them, taking some time out of them. But uh, out of sequence there. Rob Dennis and Andy Boswell, how many years have they been rallying together? Two people who always see sat alongside each other in the uh, in the car. Very well. Warming up, guys. It's, uh, it's very chilly here with the wind whipping down the valley. It's great to see so many spectators out enjoying the sport, braving the weather. We still have plenty of cars to come, and we uh, will endeavour to bring you all of the uh, the crews through this first pass of the uh, Haveron Sweet Lamb stage. We will be back here later on as well for the uh, second running of the stage, where the stage will change slightly towards the start. The back end of the stage will always stay the same, but uh, the start of the stage will be different, give uh, the crews a little bit of a different challenge when they uh, when they head back there, right back here, sorry, this afternoon after uh, Competing, I think about a 15 mile stage through my Herring first, my Herring main, which will be a, a real test for uh, the crews. So and I first for the second pass, and then uh, after, after service, and then straight into my Herring main, and then over the road into the full Sweet Lamb or Haverin main, as it will be called. Two long stages to finish the event. All to play for as we move into this afternoon then. So, slipping back to the national stage uh, rally. Um, like I say, you have to sort of do a little bit of your own, uh, own work in here. It's, uh, it's difficult to plan who's doing what with the three separate rallies running at the same time. If you want to find out your times and uh, positions for your nearest and dearest or your friends and family that are out there competing or you're interested in classes, um, then head over to djames.org.uk for all the information on the results. But the National Rally after four stages looking like Ocean Price leading the way from Chris Ingram by 11.7 seconds. William Crichton then um, 18 seconds back from Oshin. 
he's thrown in his 31.1 back from uh, from Oshin. and then Gary Pearson is in fifth James Williams in sixth Marion Evans in seventh Elliot Payne in eighth and then Reese Yates in ninth and Ollie Mel's tenth Sponsored escort of Tony Thompson and Callum Young. Has 1800 power under the bonnet. Interested, uh, Josh Verstappen is currently lying 11th in that national rally. Neil Roscoe uh, chasing him down. Welsh crews, Eddie Lewis and Sean Cunniff in their Mark II Escort, concentrating on the uh, historic class this year and uh, is definitely going to be in the mix for the Under-25 Championship as well. then is the uh, Mark II RS 1800 of Mark Simpson and Dale Gibbons. So we're just seeing that um, Callum Graffin is actually off at the end of stage two, car parked in the scenery towards the end of the second stage of the event. It's a shame because he went really well this uh, last time out on the northwest stages. So, yeah, shame to see him in the scenery, but uh, all okay. Nice to see Darren Atkinson watching. Welcome along, Darren. And fancy the, uh, the escorts on the gravel then this weekend to take it. I bet it's not as slippy here as it was in the northwest stages. Well, thank you for tuning in, Darren. Great to see you. One of the uh, two, two and a half national category, BRC. Last time out on the northwest stages, 
the way to dance the Evo around. Stop, 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 guys, you've done, you've done, you've done. <laughs> Milke Jonsson and Hannah Run Ragnar Stotti from Iceland, another one of the Icelandic crews. I think that's the third Icelandic crew we have over uh, competing this weekend. Great to see them over here. And uh, yeah, dance that uh, Evo around the hairpins, isn't it? Brilliant stuff. Well done, guys, that's your morning done. Fantastic to see Jeremy Eason and Mike Reynolds back out with the Mark 1. Car number 85. It's been a long time since I've seen Jeremy out on the stages. Brilliant to see him here this weekend. Now another of the uh, under 25 contenders, this is the second year out gravel rallying for this young man. He only turned 18 last month, Sam Mason and James Seymour in their Fiesta. Let's uh, see how they get on, hopefully this is them. Looks like a Fiesta in the distance. Championship. <laughs> Andy Corner's tuned in, he's watching whilst planting a field on the tractor. Seen your driving, Andy. I trust you with that. Some man who can uh, drive a 205 if ever there was one. Never forget the sight of uh, Andy competing at Western Park. Oh, 205 in the Agro stages a few years back. Incredible action, great, great to watch. So then, popping over the jump for Nick Dobson and Jonathan Turnbull, not to escort. Riding their way to the final bends, over the finish line. Mary Theresa, Mary Theresa says, great coverage, thank you guys. Mr Morton, good morning from Charleston, South Carolina. Thank you for tuning in, Christopher. George Jennings, great coverage as always. Keep it up. Thank you very much, George. Appreciate all the comments that are coming in. Great to see so many of you tuning in and from all around the world as well. Let us know where you're watching from. We're uh, halfway through the event now. Let us know what you think is going to happen this afternoon. You've got three stages to go. Stage five is not far off starting. So uh, who, are we, uh, who are we looking likely to see on the top step of the podium? for this Pirelli Wells Championship. Matthew Hurst is uh, currently leading the way. He's got a strong advantage. But, uh, a lot can happen this afternoon. Some seriously long stages. Matthew needs some good luck. So I'm uh, hoping that he will get it. And this is the car that I, uh, I had my ride around this Sweet Lamb Complex in. The ex-David Stokes. 
Mark One Escort <coughs> being ably driven by Andrew Stokes this weekend. Johnny Tad Evans alongside, as always. I will never forget the memories of uh, coming out of the barns here at the bottom of the bowl and driving up to the top of the hill to, to have my run around. It was fantastic. First, the BMWs this weekend. Andrew Fox and Jamie Lee Fox in their 325. Always on the hunt for class awards for the Fox family. Competing for many years in BMWs. Great to see and hear the BMWs. Gillian Booth. I've done this many rally, rally many times, but just watching from Spain with a beer this weekend. Bet it's warmer than it is here. <laughs> Nick Kevin. Teasing us with a beer in Spain he is whilst I'm stood here freezing. Even my gloves aren't working really at the minute. <laughs> the wind is biting, I have to say, really cold. We tried to protect ourselves with the car, but it's not really working. Claire Guttridge is watching from the Alma pub in Wandsworth. Thank you for joining us. Are you watching on your phone or is it on the big screen? Because if it's on the big screen, that would be amazing. I'd love to find out if that was there. The Squires boys from Stoke-on-Trent. Honorary members of ERO Motor Club now. That's all they've done for the sport over the years. The iconic escort through the flying finish here. Next up then, Colin Minton and Tim Green in that Fiesta R5. Change of co-driver this weekend with Tim Green stepping in. Is car 93, Tim Piercy and Steve Few. I wonder if Pugh was going to be out on the event. He's done uh, beating a few people over the years. I thought he was going to be Robson Escort, but uh, out with Tim Piercy this weekend. Car 94, FV, Ashbury, and Ian Jones. To escort chasing them down. Replaced with SNL Motors and accident repairs down the side of that escort.
Banks is watching. He's back in regroup now. Hope we're having a good day. Thank you, Will. Yeah, looking good through Sweet Land, mate. To catch the uh, catch the action back when you uh, when you get back later on. But uh, the little Nova was going well past us for sure. Alison Lloyd is watching from Enfield in Connecticut. Thank you for joining us, Alison. Join us here in uh, very wild and windy mid Wales, the Sweet Lamb Rally Complex motorsport uh, complex in the middle of the Welsh hillside. Jeff Phelps and Colin Jenkins in the Honda powered Mark II Escort running in the uh, Pirelli Welsh Championship Open category this weekend. Shaw in their two litre Mark II Escort. We're looking for an unusual car actually coming very soon. Um, well, two cars I'm looking forward to seeing actually. Hopefully, Steve Max will be through shortly with Steve Bealby alongside in the rear wheel drive Astra. But um, we've also got Gary Bolins as well with the. Uh, the Impreza wagon, the estate version. Interesting to see that. that comes through as well. Causing a big splash then. Car 96, this is Dave Dobson and uh, Brian Hodgson. Fifty cars to come. Make sure we uh, stick with it for the rest of the field. Try to bring everyone to you. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome along. Listen to this fantastic engine sound as the uh, rear-wheel drive Astra makes its way down the hillside. Steve Magson and uh, Steve Bealby. Something a little bit different as well. Real wheel drive Astra. Steve's got a variety of cars. Let's go with us. Mercedes as well. The gold bus to wrestle around the, uh, the stages. Something a little bit different in the garage. So nice to see you uh, nice see out the Astra this weekend. Not too bad. I just seem to be sat right in a, a wind tunnel at the minute, blown all over the place. I'm hoping it's not uh, not coming out too badly on the uh, on the stream anyway. Got the volume turned down so I can't hear myself. That's the last thing anyone needs. Two of me. So we're waiting for Gary Bolins and this uh, Impreza wagon to come through. Gary's from the Forest of Dean. Seems a bit 
appears next. It's not the impressive. Which it isn't. It should be a mark to escort, which it is. Oh, John Morgan. And uh, he has Klaus Jones Edwards alongside. John's had a, a little break from rallying. He's uh, not competed for the last 20 years. So just a little break to, uh, to sort himself out. Look, uh, looking back out again, having fun and going really well. Go on, John. say that he, he meant that it certainly looked good didn't it yeah he definitely meant that definitely meant that <laughs> brilliant stuff from car 99 john morgan and Klinos jones Law, uh, jones edwards in the rs 1800 ford escort mark ii Next up for, was, for us then should be uh, Steve Corky Ward with Philip Sandham alongside. <laughs> Special stage pundit previously as Mr. Sandham. <laughs> a thoroughly nice guy too. It's a pleasure to have him along. The ride. I think it was on Argyle actually last year. It was, uh, it was great to see Phil giving his um, knowledge and experiences down the microphone. And, uh, lots of uh, lots of stories to tell. I have to say. There's a high attrition rate this morning. Simon Smith and Andrew Lawson, though, having no issues with the escort. Finding their way through the flying finish here. Sweet Lamp on their way back to uh, Bilth Wells. So a little bit of a gap while we wait for our next competitor. over the hillside. <laughs> so just to uh, just to reiterate, we've had uh, four live streams today on the special stage. 
Facebook page and uh, specialstays.tv. Myself, Phil Bramhill, is here in uh, Sweet Lamp and the uh, Haveron Complex uh, on stage four. Paul Woodford this morning uh, bringing you all the action uh, on the other live stream from over at uh, Terenig in My Herring. That stage is preparing themselves for the second running of it now. Change the stage layout around and uh, join the two stages together. Terenig stage two and My Herring stage three into one long 15 mile plus stage, I think it is. Um, which is due to get going in probably around about 45 minutes to an hour's time, something like that. And, uh, that'll give us just enough time to fire the car up, warm ourselves up and, and get ready for uh, stage two here in, uh, in Sweet Lamp. And we'll bring you uh, all the action from stage five, uh, sorry, from stage six. Or seven, seven, stage seven. Get it right, Phil. Stage seven. <laughs> it's the cold, it's affecting me. Right then. Tom Naylor and Tom Bishop in the ST150 Fiesta. Photographers here getting some fantastic shots up from the jump and uh, the water splash as well here in uh, Sweet Lamb. Next up for us is a hard charging Fiesta. Comes way down the hillside into the water splash. Going well. So with Lewis Hooper, car 106, Reese Edwards. Alongside 1600 Fiesta. Great to see the rally. Uh, sorry, for rally two. Great to see the R2 Fiesta out on the event. I'm sure one day we'll see uh, Lewis in an R2. A proper rally two. It's confusing it with all these numbers. It's a 200 as well. R200, an R5, a Rally 2, an R2. Two together then. This is the Impreza Wagon, excuse me, Impreza Wagon, first of all. Gary Boland's. Like your average uh, rally car. Seems to work for Gary. That's a very noisy Scott Walton and Craig Nelson in their Mark II Escort. Scott, one from South Wales. Uh, competing in a, a very competitive B11 class this weekend in that Pirelli Welsh Championship. <laughs> so shout out to the guys over in Portugal. Thank you very much for tuning in.
on the driver to come back after a 20-year break. Greg Mills and uh, Andrew Sankey alongside. <laughs> Iconic. Rothman style livery. On car 109, a Sean Bolt, Sean Leyland in that Ford Escort Mark II. Thank you for the great coverage as usual. Appreciate that, Mark. Thank you very much for tuning in. As the marshal has retrieved the uh, fine finish board now. Tony Wilkinson has tuned in. Afternoon, Tony. Pleased to know Jonathan has got through the stage and I didn't, uh, I didn't make any calls or uh, rash decisions on what's going to that car after last time coming to me. You've done such a good job of uh, preparing the car and getting it all ready on the way to uh, crash in front of me. So I decided just to keep my mouth shut this time and let him do his business. So uh, you'll be pleased to know he's through and he's back with you guys now, hopefully in service. Car 1-1-1 one -on -one then, that is Lucy Ridley and Emma Cooper in the Citroen C2 R2 Max. Lucy uh, having a season of choosing uh, which event she wants to do this year, so missing the, uh, the Wales Championship, but Emma has committed to uh, the Championship as a navigator, so uh, fingers crossed she gets good seat time this year, and uh, manages to chalk up some good event uh, scores for her Championship campaign. Marcel Moto, that little uh, C2R2 Max. Fantastic to see the uh, field of competitors like we've got this weekend. 180 cars out on the stages. Rally nuts and seven rally, rally stages. In its 50th year as an event. <laughs> Car one and two, then the second of the BMWs. That's David Jones and Glyn Price in the E30 BMW. Dive lock. They've been regular competitors, supported the championship for a long, long time now. So two together then. First off, Mark to escort. <laughs> Steve Chaplin, the rich suitor alongside, and then you see Paul Lomas and Mark Reader. Popping the bodywork off that uh, Subaru Impreza as they uh, make a splash through the water. Good commitment from Paul and Mark in that uh, Impreza STI. Also a good run on uh, Rally North Wales as well, lying fifth in the, uh, the W13 class. Very competitive class actually as well, so that's a great result.
is going on as we wait for our next competitor. Sarah Nicol is waiting for her son in car 150. Well, we will stick with the uh, the crews. Sarah, all being well, we will see uh, Shane Lynch and Harry Nicol through in that uh, Land Rover Bowler later on. Pop Royalty making an appearance on the stages a little bit later. Look forward to seeing the Land Rovers, they'll be well suited for the water. I'm not sure Nick Hurd will be in the Geneta G40 if he makes it this far. That'll be, um, that'll be a fair uh, splash for him when he comes through there later. Icelandic crew. This is Agnar Ingi Sigurdsson and Valgadar Davidson. Car one one six. stages. So in the first half of the event anyway. Back to Gulf Wells to get themselves ready for the, uh, the afternoon set of stages. Martin Walters, Marie Fletcher up next in the Honda Civic. It's going to be a tough year this year for the crew. Got uh, some stiff competition in their class. Since they won last year as well. from the Pirelli World Championship, Damien Elliott Thomas and Joshua Elliott Thomas in the 206 Super 1600. This is a fantastic little car. I'm really hoping this gets to us. Had some uh, issues last year with it, but it's uh, still really good. Full rebuild for the car.
Day 5, SRI 2 should be uh, underway. First day of the afternoon loop. Tight schedule this weekend for the uh, the organisers on the, uh, the Rally Ups Seven Valley Stages Rally. Maximum entry of 180 cars, and we've got about, uh, about that many cars running, which is great to see. Popularity of rallying this year. Two together again then. First up is the escort. Car 119, Richard Warren, Chris Deal. They've been chased down by Alan de Bois and Lucy Lutridge. Pirelli World Championship. So great to see the car still running. Great to see and flying well. Over cooking that one. The Lions and Joseph Patterson for Sierra Cosworth. There's he going then. <laughs> there we go. Through the finish now you can chill. Well done guys. Nice to see the Sierra out. And that uh, Jeff Proctor also has a Sierra as well. Good to see these cars being competed in being used on the stages. The cloud is uh, returning and the Miz is coming back. A good leap out of the water though. Slide in the escort through the flying finish. Down in Sam Kelter. Yeah. 
biting me for it, I have to say. We've got about 20, 25 cars left to come. Including in that is the uh, Dondra of Bowlers. Rounding out the action this morning. This morning at 2 o'clock. Late start for us this morning. The early afternoon action, let's say. See on the camera what the conditions are like here in the uh, sweet plant complex. as well after uh, rallying up well, so it's been a good start for the season for them. Got a 1 2 8. Another gaggle of uh, Pirelli World Championship crews to come very shortly as well. In anticipation for them. Spin in a stall for car 127. Quickly fires back up again. Ian Jemison and the Kellett in that Porsche Boxer. Glorious sound for that Boxer. Become very miserable very quickly all of a sudden here at Sweet Lamb. As if the cold wasn't bad enough, the rain has now arrived. That's the vengeance as well. Horrible stuff. Kind of wets you through, isn't it, this? Young Sam. Next competitors then, coming down the hillside, wipers working hard already, and not just for the water splash now. Oh. 
Price in their Ford Focus road rally class cars. Enjoyed uh, running off wheels uh, and they're back for more. Got a line second in the uh, class W3. Jenkins and the Jones in their fourth Fiesta. Ignition Motorsport team member and social media influencer. According to the notes here. That is uh, beyond grim, probably the best way of describing it. The minute here in uh, Sweet Lamb. Together coming down the hillside then. On the drive Subaru and Brexit chasing down the escort. Paul Holmes, the Elizabeth Beasley. An event sponsor. Paul Boss. Glenn Mercer alongside. Well, in Oxford Sport, thank you very much for everything you do for the event. It's great to see the uh, impressor of Paul and Glenn out competing this weekend. See the uh, banner there, they're going to be on the back of it, their faces on it. social media posts over to uh, people as well in small uh, video clippings as well so that we can uh, do an edit for uh, the show. A bit of everything going on as well at the minute. I've uh, been live on the microphone and trying to uh, send clips over to the producers now. But um, yeah, the weather's taking turns to work here all of a sudden. Plenty of hardy spectators stood watching the action out here at uh, Sweet Lamb. 
one thing they will need to do after this is they will need to make their way back up the hill to where they can park at least at the top of the hill and go with these big guys at four seasons eight or more. We've got a little plug there for those guys. Fantastic uh, bacon sandwich we had this morning and a cup of coffee from those guys. So uh, I said they'd give them a shout out on the live stream. We got here nice and early this morning to set up. and Gareth Davies in the uh, escort. Peter was fourth in class on the way. He's the start to the season for him. We're looking to uh, build on that here uh, on Rally Nuts. We should be looking towards another Triumph TR7 V8, hopefully in the uh, hands of Graham Thatcher and Tim Samuel. Looking like it's wet enough, is it, Sam? Weather well, gods are against us all of a sudden. Here on the 50th running of the Rhinox Seven Valley Stages Rally. Thank you for sticking with us, everyone. Thanks, Ben. Sounds fun there, Phil. Yeah, it was, it was all right earlier. It was absolutely fine earlier. And now it's got very miserable very quickly. And uh, unfortunately, it's, um, yeah, it's not nice at all. However, one thing that will warm our cockles a little bit is the sight and sound of a TR7 V8 coming out of the hillside. Now, the last one we had through here in the hands of Mr Higgins uh, wasn't too keen on the water. He nearly threw him into a barn. This time round, though, no issues whatsoever for Graham Thatcher and Tim Samuel. Went very nicely indeed, actually. Great to see. Run the crew in car 136. Get the kettle on crew, they're uh, on the way back to Bill's Wells for a brew. Still plenty of people tuned in, watching us on the live stream, so a massive thank you to you guys, whether you're watching on, uh, on YouTube or on specialstage.tv, or indeed on the Facebook streams, on the Facebook page, on, fa on uh, Special Stage Facebook page, or the Welsh Championship Facebook page. A big thank you to you guys for sticking with us. And like I said, we've got about uh, 15 cars to go now, 15, 20 cars, and uh, we'll stick here for all of them, including the Land Rover Bowlers at the end. But uh, water flash dragging all the water out now down the hill. Very slippy now, isn't it? Perfectly balanced on the handbrake though. Car 139, because Hedges and Philip Russ. And to the end of the stage. Mr. 
Rangers this morning's action, that's for sure. But I uh, can't say too much for the, uh, the weather. We didn't get the, uh, the fog like the guys over in uh, Terenig and my heron earlier. But, uh, the rain has certainly arrived now. Sam's doing a rain dance while we wait for the next car. I don't know whether you, you need the toilet or you're trying to keep warm, Sam, to be honest with you. A bit of both. <laughs> it's been a long stint this morning. This afternoon, I keep saying this morning, it's not. Now, here's a car I've been wanting to see all day, and it's still going strong, which is fantastic. This is... Uh, the Janetta of uh, Nick Hurd and Paul Matheson. Regulars on the tarmac circuit. As far as I know, first time out on gravel. Doing all right, to be fair. Not the kind of car you'd expect to see on there on the gravel ride, is it? It's, uh, Lovely to see out and uh, going well as well. Well done, boys, for getting that round. Very impressive. Next up for us, Ford Angular. Angular? What the heck is one of that? Ford Anglia. John and Laura Coolidge. Mr. Woodford enjoys seeing out on the stages. Well done, guys. in the escort, so across the finish line. Enormous little pirouette there. Poppy Matheson, has Nick heard of the Janetta just been, has been through yet? Literally two minutes ago, Poppy. Just now he's been through. If you didn't see him, you'll have to catch it back on the, uh, on the live stream uh, replay afterwards on YouTube. It was literally two minutes ago he's just been through. Uh, and we're just commenting how uh, how well it looked actually on the on the uh, on the gravel surface and how well it was doing. Not the part. I think well. Conditions uh, not ideal here at all by any means. But, uh, better. Going well on the gravel. Lisa right, the weather looks awful. It, it certainly is awful. Well, this is the site of our first Land Rover Bowler, which is an indication that we are not too far off the end of the field now. So first one interview is car 146, Mark Thomas and Philip Mackey. Interesting little uh, series that they've got going with these bowlers. I don't think we can have a car more suited to the uh, conditions out there in the minute. We're loving the mud of Wales today.
Okay, so we've had the first of the Land Rover bowlers, and we'll keep an eye out for the rest. They'll be making their way through very soon. Don't forget, we have uh, Shane Lynch making his bowler debut today. X. Boy's own singer. Does he say X? Boy's own singer. He might still be in Boy's own. Singer with Boy's own, anyway. Those old enough to remember who Boy's own are. Loads of young people on Facebook these days looking at me going, what on earth are you doing It's a band from a while ago. You have to look them up. Next one, coming down the hillside now, this should be Dennis Ferry and Richard Mills. Big splash, over the jump, hard on the brakes, a big lock up. Dennis Ferry and Richard Mills, who complete their morning's work here in Mid Wales. Any idea what happens to Charlie Wright, number 121? I don't, I'm afraid, no. I haven't seen or heard anything, I know he hasn't been past me here in Sweet Lamb, so no, I don't, uh, I don't know what's happened there, I'm afraid. Hopefully everything's okay. All over the place. Get it back straight. Richard Kingsley Smith. Adele Tyson. Bar one, four, eight. Half an hour. We haven't got long though. Then we're back out again. Are you excited for this afternoon? <laughs> oh dear, that's not the look I was hoping for there, Sam. He loves it really. So we're going to attempt to move position this afternoon. In we, we need to look at the weather and figure out how things are going to pan out, if I'm honest with you. The, uh, the plan originally was to, to move around the side of the bowl. Um, the wind is blowing directly at us and uh, the shot will be a nightmare for, uh, for filming later, if that's the case. If, we, if the wind and rain is still with us, it's going to be a real nightmare. So we will um, we'll play it by ear. We'll see what we can come up with. Um, see if we can use some magic or something to try and get, uh, get the weather on our side ready for um, the second passing of the stage later on um, and hopefully we'll bring you all the action from a different location around Sweet One. Um, we might just venture to the other side of the water splash after we catch the kind of water splash backwards, not backwards but from behind the car. So a bit of a gap here between these uh, final few cars. I reckon there's probably about four or five to come. Plenty of party spectators around them, which is nice to see. I thought the weather was supposed to be 
be all right. The new songs are going to be good. It was the, the landlord at the pub last night, wasn't it, where we stayed? Said that the weather was going to be good today. You're very lucky the weather's going to be very good today. No rain. No rain. Yeah, true, no rain. But it's not one of the Land Rovers. We are expecting a 205 at some point, so this might be the little 205. Or 206, oh. sorry. 206. Oh it looks more like a 206 than a 205, so that's positive. Making its way into the eye of the storm. up the gravel. Lewis Davies and Kevin Haven. This is his first time out in 2024. Another of the uh, Road Rally spec cars. So all the, uh, all the equipment, and the Wi-Fi, and the broadband and satellite equipment are all tucked away in the boot of the car. Unfortunately the boot of the car is now full of water and everything's wet through. So <laughs> it seemed like a good idea at the time. And the boot lid down there. Starting to brighten up a bit though, Sam. Crack it up like soon, you want. So we're looking towards what have we got? John Crook in the Suzuki Swift, Steve Looms, Rock Long. Of the bowlers to come. There's a couple more coming through now. Two bowlers together. No, single one. Interesting in the second one, we'll be able to see it. Let's see who we have then. Car 152 and car 151. Putting in opposite orders. So Paul McCullum chasing down Luke Fairhead in the bowlers. Making its way down the hillside. And this is car 150. With Harry Nickel on the notes, guiding Shane Lynch through the stages. Battling their way through the horrible conditions, no matter what.
waiting for the final couple of cars to come through. Jane Lynch and Harry Nicholl. Just, uh, I think, two more crews expected. Hang on as long as we can. We don't know if anything's coming or if it's not coming. It's difficult to tell. But, uh, we'll give it another minute or two and see what else is coming down the hillside. This should be either Justin Dooling or Nathan Burrell. Ooh, sideways through the gate. Able to collect himself just as he's uh, arrived at the water. One five four then, Nathan Burrell and Matt Kirkby. The last car on the entry list for the Rally Nuts. Stage 7 Valley Rally 2024. We will end the stream there for your first stage of the day. A massive thank you to everyone who's tuned in and, uh, and stuck with us for the, uh, the whole field. It's, uh, it's been a pleasure bringing you that uh, first aid, if not very cold and very wet as the day went on, but um, nevertheless, always a pleasure. Join